Hey what's up guys, welcome back to this video, today I thought I was going to show you guys how to use magic bullet looks. So first of all, just add in your magic bullet looks, I'm going to put a free download in the description for you guys who doesn't have it. This is basically adding color correction, a really kind of, it's not that advanced, but it's a really, really good color correction system or whatever I should call it, plugin. Okay, so let's start off on what you can put on, on subject. I'm going to just show the stuff I'm often using. So for all my color corrections, I put the spot exposure. I take this and drag it up on the top and then I put like about this just to get like a little bit of glow. And then you can add this. I don't always add this, but this makes a sort of RPG effect like you already see right here. Some RPG. This color curves is also really good. I usually just take the upper one up and the under one down. And then you get like this adds more like sharpness to it. In math, this diffusion, put that on and then you will get this glow uh, you don't really need to mess around with these settings they should be good by default you can add vignet for some edits depends on what you want if you want like some scary edit or something you can put this on but usually i don't use it in here you have the chromatic again lens distortion you can use that as a fisheye but i would prefer just the sapphire stuff but you can use this you can uh, time this like all other effects so yeah but what I often use in this is the edge softness, I put that on and then I just turn this down to about like 0 0.8 and then you get some sort of blur at the side. Next one in lens would be the haze flare. I just add this in and then you put this on 0. Then you can change the color to whatever you want. Let's say we want some orange, some orange themed, yeah. Then here you can mess around with all these settings. I would prefer like softness to get it all stretched out, but not too much. It needs to have a little bit of those, um, yeah, lines. In camera, you can use this if you want to. This is some sort of color correction, which only gives you these two colors. You can also change these a little bit around to get it a little bit different, but you only have two colors if you put this on. And the uh, uh, and they are like presets so you can't change the colors in post i often use the hue and saturation but wait we'll we'll get into that later on so i would add the range sl eight i would add the ranged hsl which is really really good so i'm just showing you guys what it's for let's say you want a color correction where you only have the color orange so now we just drag all these colors into the middle in the upper one, not in the down one. Just let the down one be like it was before. And then we just drag this in. And now we only have orange colors. So what if you just wanted the orange colors, but then change the colors to blue? So then you put the hue and saturation on. And then you put the hue to whenever blue is like this and then you get blue so yeah guys that's how i make the color corrections i hope you guys could use this to something the tutorial wasn't that long so i hope this is really good for you guys and leave a like if you want more tutorials peace out